Hi guys, welcome to another class of Pilates with TZ. Today we just need a ball, but for starting, we're going to come without the ball. If you don't have a ball, you could use a chair for most of the exercises. Coming into your diamond shape, just tucking your chin in, rounding into the back. Caterpillar the fingers forward, inhale, exhale, fold a little deeper and bounce for five. Four, three, two, one. Sink a little lower. Try and open the front of the chest and round into the mid to lower back. And again, bounce for five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze even lower. And one more. One, two, three, four, five. And squeeze even lower. Release it down. Coming to now on your back. Keeping the inline of the feet together. We're going to inhale. Squeeze up. Open up. Bring it back. You can bring the bum down or hover it. Inhale. Relax the upper body. One. Two. Open as wide as you can with the inline of the foot together. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Just to warm up, eight. If you find you're getting cramps, you can just keep the feet hip width apart and squeeze up and down. Four, three, two. Squeeze it at the top. One more set. Two. Three, four, keep the abs pulled in, tuck the tailbone, tilt in that pelvis, seven, eight, hold it up, tilt the pelvis, hold, one, two, relax the upper body, six, seven, eight, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, squeeze the glutes, five, six, seven, eight, pulse, one, three, Keep the abs pulled in always to protect the back. One, two, three, <clears throat> five, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, and release it down. Hug it in, knees wide, out to the side. Same thing, but your bum is coming up on the knees together part. So it's open knees. You can have your butt on the floor and squeeze. Open knees, bum down and squeeze. Let's go. Starting at the bottom, hovering or butt on the floor. Inhale, one, two, four. Five, six, sorry, seven, forget the eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> sorry, seven, eight, Last set. One, two, three. Cause tight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it up. Just squeeze the knees together. Hold it. Relax the upper body. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, pulse. Squeeze those knees. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. Keep the abs pulled in. Tuck the tailbone if you can. Three, four, five, six, seven. 
release it down. So I thought the inner thighs and the back, so taking the knees wide, for me that stretches the outer back, the inner thigh, but if it's not, maybe figure four is a better stretch or you can bring it in. See whichever one's working for you, <coughs> setting up for the next. So the soles of the feet are together now, opening the knees wide, relaxing the upper body, tilt the pelvis, tuck the tailbone, pull the abs in and squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three. I'm definitely feeling those inner thighs working. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Squeeze the back or the back of the thighs. Five, six, seven, eight. Last one. One, two, three. Pause tight. Tuck tailbone. Six, seven, eight. Hold it up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four. Squeeze. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. And release it down. Hug it into the chest. The last exercise before we start on the ball. You've taken the one foot outside of the foot onto the floor. The other one, if you can, on top. Then you're going to square the hips, lift up, relax the upper body, keep it open and squeeze. One, two, three, four, five. If it's too much, you can parallel the feet. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it up here. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two. Keep the abs pulled in. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Release it down. Hug it wide. Knees together and changing sides. Need more of a stretch, do it. Otherwise, when you're ready, lift up and squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Hold it up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down. Come up. Stretch. Diamond shape. Just rounding into the back. And when you're ready. We're going to take the ball. Taking the ball, if you need to stretch more, do it. Otherwise, one foot is on the mat. So I want the feet in a straight line. So take both feet onto the ball and then slide the other one down. That's the width I'd like you to have it. If you feel any pain, in your back, number one, keep the abs pulled in to protect the back. Then number two, just bring the feet parallel. Otherwise, opening the knees, lift the back and squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep the core tight, seven, eight. This will work a little bit more into the core because you've got that stability that you've got to work on with the ball. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it up here. One, two, three, four, five, 
one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. A little higher if you can. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. A little higher. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Burning. Smile and breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six. Course tight and release it down. So maybe roll the one foot in and push that other knee out. I feel like working both legs, but differently. Or the outer leg. Push out and inner. When you've stretched enough, both feet are on the ball, taking the other one, slide it down. So it's in a straight line. Pull the abs in, tuck your tailbone. Remember if you're cramping or you've got a sore back, first pull the abs in for sore back. And then if not working, then bring the feet hip width apart onto the ball. Squeeze it up. And one, two, three. Five. Keep that tuck in the tailbone if you can. One. Relax the upper body. Four. Five. Six. Feel the working. Eight. And the inner thigh. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Hold it up here. A little higher. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Higher, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one, four, five, six, seven, eight, and pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight and release it down sole of the foot together push out bend it sole of the foot together Whew. if you need to take a longer stretch taking it up one foot is on the ball one foot is on the other knee flex the foot square the hips and squeeze one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more set. Then we hold. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it up here. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down. And stretch. One. And the other. Coming to the other side now. So you're going to lift the back. One foot on top of the other and squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tuck the tailbone, pull the core in. Relax the upper body as much as you can. Seven, eight, one, two. Square the hips. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down and stretch it up. Feels good, right? <sighs> oh, it feels delicious somehow stretching there for the butt. Not sure why. When you're ready to, we're going to now. Put our butt, no, our back on the ball. Now we're going to come onto the ball with our back. So 
if you've got a longer body, I want just the top of the hip bones is where you're off the mat. You can either rest your head on the ball, or if you lift it, you might need to hold here, but also you might need your hands here for stability. So just see what you can do. If you need to then roll more forward, get a little bit more off the ball. If you've got a longer torso, I want the soles of the feet together, relaxing the upper body, and squeeze and lift. Let's go, squeeze it up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, one more set, one, two, relax the upper body, four, five, six, tuck the tailbone, pull the abs in, hold it up here, and pulse, one, four, five, six, eight, one, two, four, five, six, eight, one, three, four, six, seven, eight. Hold it higher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down. Then we're going to take the one foot on top of the other. So flex. Open the knees and squeeze. One, two. You can rest your head. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Keep the tailbone tucked. Seven, eight. Last one. One, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold it. One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down. I'm sticking on the ball with my back, which is quite nice. If you can't, then just come back onto it. Come back up for the second side. Sole the foot to the outside of the foot. And... Take it knee on top, squeeze, one, two, relax the upper body, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, open those knees as wide as you can, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold it. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down. Come into your diamond. What I find very nice is a figure four here. And chain. If you can't stay on the ball, you can do the figure four lying down. Now we're going to come to abs. So put in the ball one side for now. Lying on your back. You want to relax the upper body. And we're just working into the lower. You might feel it working. My one client felt or a few felt it into the tricep. That's fine. But just don't tense the jaw and the neck. If you can, the feet are together, pull the abs in, and you're going to lift the back and down. Inhale, let's go. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Try get as much air time as you can. 
Put your bum in the air. Three, four, five, seven, eight, <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight and let's go again. One, two, three, four, five. Keep those abs pulled in. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stretch it up, arms above the head. Feel that delicious breath. Coming up, we're going to do the same thing, but with the ball now. Grabbing the ball. The ball is between the legs. If it's too much, because it is going to work in a thigh as well. If it's too much, you leave the ball. So inhale. Oh, bend the knees, by the way. Squeeze. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep the abs pulled in. Two, if you have diastasis rectus and you know, then I'd rather you modify the exercise and do a bridge. Seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, last one, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, and release it down. Soles of the feet together, that sure feels better. And roll it in and out. Putting the ball down for now. We're now taking it side to side. Relax the upper body, lift and twist. And then that's one. Try to keep knees together if you can, and then bend the knees. Let's go. Squeeze. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five. Four, keep those abs pulled in. Three, one, one more set. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice burning abs. Release it down and stretch it up. We're going to do the same thing with the ball. And then we go one more nice ab. We're taking the ball between the ankles and the calves. Bend the knees. And let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. One more set. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and release it down. Soles of the feet are together and stretch it up. In one more, and maybe because we need to stretch those abs for now, if this is good. And release it down. We're going to do the last ab exercise on the ball. You can do the modified, which is elbows are on the ball. If you can, you want it a bit forward and your bum is down. Or you're going to take the knees off the mat and then when you hear I don't want the hands clasped I want them separated and you're gonna lift the knees and push you want to push the front of the arms down so on your for on your forearms maybe roll it out also if you can I want you to tuck that tailbone round into the lower back. So either here, tuck the tailbone, or lifting up. We're going to hold it for three sets of eight. Lift it up, maybe roll it out a little, push the hands down, and one. Tuck tailbone, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Keep pushing the hands down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down and push back. Melt the chest all the way through the shoulders. Coming up, next set, inhale, keep pushing the hands into it, so your elbows want to sink down, try and push with both, inhale, lift, let's go, one, roll it out more, tuck tailbone, three, four, five, seven, 
eight. Imagine I'm punching in the lower belly. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release it down and push back. We got one more set and then we'll be done the abs and the class. Inhale, tuck toes, lift up, push and tuck elbow. One, pull the core in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, push the arms in, seven, eight, really sit down, come into stand, and then just gently melt your chest through the shoulders and really sink as far through. As you can. And rounding into the back. Thank you for joining me in another lesson of Pilates or TZ. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next lesson.